Hi Libra, I'm hoping you guys are doing well. We're gonna go ahead and do a weekly reading. What is this? That oh my god, this King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is having a hard time. It looks like they're holding back, but because of defeat or afraid of rejection here. We will see. We will do a Celtic cross spread. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. We will say A through the 15th. What's going on with Libras? The monthlies have been uploaded and how your person feels towards you. Also, if you're interested in the extended readings, there's the link in the description box below. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One more. There's a wish fulfillment there. Is it? Well, this Four of Wands actually came before with the King of Pentacles. And the Five of Swords, I feel like there's some type of reunion, but there's conflict. And now we have the Queen of Pentacles. Let's see. Let's see. Moon in Libra, your overall situation. It looks like you're at crossroads, uh, Libra. It looks like a decision or someone is at crossroads in this case regarding you. This is the overall situation. We will see why. Trying to balance. This is basically, I have not decided yet. Or I feel kind of being pulled in two directions type of situation. Oh, wow. The hermit. Yeah, finding your way. Unless some of you are dealing also with um, Virgo. Finding the right way, finding the pathway. There's been a lot of um, introspection here. That's the decision that you feel you have to make, but you cannot make yet. Some of you may be feeling again that you have to kind of go in hermit mode, to isolate yourself. If you have been doing this, then again, is it time to come out? We will see. Wow, what a journey. At the heart of this, we have the Six of Swords. So again, I, I feel like you want to move in a new direction, smooth sailing. You want to leave that conflict behind. Smooth transition. You are, you are trying to move on from something here. And some of you may be, again, deciding to uh, leave someone or a situation. It looks like you're doing a lot of thinking and you have not found still, you know, at least, again, that's the situation, which way to go. I know it sounds such a Libra energy, right? A lot of introspection, a lot of thinking, looking at both ways. I, want, I don't want drama with the Six of Swords, Mercury and Aquarius wanted to think um, in a way out of the box type of situation okay so this is because of a lover's decision or regarding someone that you're connecting some type of connection deep connection here now this is coming as a recent past or the past for some of you but this is the influence gemini energy for some remember we have the number six with the lovers and the six of swords at the heart of what again why is this happening? So you're trying to look at it again both ways. Balance. Number six represents balance, harmonious energy. Definitely though, it has to do again with the lover's decision or some major decision in your life. All right, so what's your vision? How are you going to be seeing things? The world. Well, with the world, definitely I think like you're ready for the next cycle here. Some type of completing a journey, destiny, unless there's barriers or distance with the lover. Definitely you are at that finish line though. Now the, the difference here is with this, the world or the universe, is that you are seeking this completion. You want this completion. Remember, I, even when it comes to your foundation, as I mentioned here, you're trying to um, kind of transition. What do you leave behind? What is this completion here that you're trying to reach? What is this accomplishment? It's like destiny kind of situation. Okay, well, we went from the two of swords, the overall situation of I'm not sure which way to go. I'm not sure what to do. I feel like I need to think and go within myself. But what is coming towards you immediately? Look at this Libra and uh, Aries energy, your opposite sign, right? It's, it, the decision will be made. Someone is coming. Now, this may be you. Finally, you feel like, okay, I found my way. That's the immediate situation. Always, I see these two of ones as 
first of all, Mars in Aries, oh my goodness, right there, it's like immediate, fast, not thinking. This is what I want. This is what I'm going to do. I made my choice. So a choice will be made or someone is coming with a proposal here. Remember, look at looking at the lovers. Someone is deciding. If you're dealing with a Virgo, some of you, they had kind of the same theme. Um, they had the two of ones actually a lot, but it doesn't matter for all of you, whichever sign you're deciding, the immediate approach towards you or what are you going to feel, again, that is coming towards you is this decision making, movement, finally, choices to be made, getting out of this stagnant situation. That's why you have that vision of the universe, the um, accomplishment. And it's nice also because in your behavior here, are you going to see yourself or what is going to influence you is the page of cups. So pure intuition. This is an expression of love. You might be feeling that someone uh, finally is opening up or you want to open up. You want to trust this feeling. It's a little bit, again, from going with this, I need to think about it to finally feeling like, you know, I know what I'm feeling is right. Very poetic, very um, intuitive. That's how you're going to see yourself. Oh my goodness, we're going into the Pisces energy here. In your environment, you have the High Priestess. It's kind of connecting with your influences here, but the High Priestess, of course, it's a major arcana. So in this case, and I feel like both of these, in a way, are very spiritual. They both are kind of trying to find their way. But external someone to you has this telepathic connection with you in this situation. They might be finding, again, that you're holding back or this person is holding back, is not opening up. But of course, there's that intuition. Surrounded by your intuition, surrounded by someone that has the strong intuition with you. Well, it's good because your goals here is the page of ones, hopes, fears, how you're going to get out of that situation, how you're going to handle that situation. This is more spontaneous. Look at the pages. Again, it's very much messages. Um, this is more adventurous. You're going to feel like things are improving, uh, exciting things are coming in, good news. You may be hoping that this first uh, person or situation is ready to take, again, in a, a more approach of enthusiasm, more adventurous, ready. For some of you, again, it may be that they want to send a message to, towards you quickly. But we're getting out of that indecision. It's like the whole reading is just how do I get out of this two of swords? What do I decide? And both this fire energy is like someone is going to go with the flow, with the intuition, with, uh, again, the psychic uh, vision. So let's see what is the best possible outcome. Wow, the Ten of Wands. You are at the finish line with the Ten of Wands, but it looks like you might feel overwhelmed and restricted regarding this passion. Some of you, uh, a responsibility that you're carrying on your shoulders. It, it can explain why you are uh, with the Two of Swords. Complete journey, though. I feel like the Ten of Wands is saying that finally reaching that journey, you might feel exhausted in this case, uh, even restricted in some way. But you are at the finish line. Let's clarify, though. Why is that a decision that will leave you um, exhausted? Because remember, look at this world. That's what you have. I feel like some of you feel responsible for something or someone. And you want this completion again to come as, you know, it's time for this cycle to end. It's time for this completion, for this chapter. We went from exciting type of energy to feeling overwhelmed. All right, so let's see what is going on with this Ten of Wands. What is going on with the Ten of Wands, please? One, look at the Two of Swords. One more. Nine of Pentacles. Wow, Nine of Cups, Two Nines, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, it's nice. But this is regarding some type of freedom, uh, wish fulfillment and desires regarding a new opportunity that is opening up towards you. This is, you know, I'm getting a little bit here. It's not a warning, but it's something, again, that you wish, that you want. 
but it's come with a lot of responsibilities or there's some type of responsibilities regarding this situation. Taking more than you can handle. Again, not necessarily a warning for some of you. It may be. It has to do with an opportunity that is coming in. Now, always I see the Nine of Pentacles as a person that wants to be free, independent financially here as well. But also when it comes to this desire. to the, Both of these are talking something about gratification. So an opportunity that it is very nice, but it's leaving you with too much uh, to do. I feel like uh, I like the Ten of Wands passionately. So I feel like, again, it's a completion, but be careful. Uh, that's what I will say. Be careful how much you can take. Do not overwhelm yourself regarding this quick decision. Let's see. Let's see what the Two of Wands. It's nice because it's saying that it's coming with financial freedom, being independent, or that's what you're going to feel you want. I want this, but what do I need to, uh, to do? What what is the price? How much should I handle? Do I need to work a lot uh, in order to get this completion here or achievement or success? That's what there's, that decision is. Let's see what the two of wands that is coming. This is in your immediate situation. I feel like this may be the thing that compels you to feel, to make a decision. What is going on with the two of wands, please? Oops. Well, that fell. Look at the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Swords there, and the Lovers. Another Six. This is so important. Like, what is this balance to people with give and take? With justice, and again, your energy, Libra, a decision that is fair, a decision, a legal matter. Some of you, especially if you're going, and I'm saying this uh, because of the responsibility and the independence and the single energy, someone that is focused on themselves. That's what that Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups is to have it all in a way and being independent and start something new what is going on here two of wands and justice what's going on please one more yeah the five of swords and the nine of wands it's not an easy decision it's really not someone that is coming in again, as I mentioned, has to do with some type of doing the right thing, legal matters. And they're ready. This to me is someone that is ready to fight no matter what, to defend what they want is another nine, by the way, which you again, you are ready to that completion with the nines. I feel like you are to this journey already completing this cycle. But man, whoever this person that is coming or the decision that you have to make, it's like defending yourself, not accepting defeat, being cautious and apprehensive regarding this choice. Is it the right choice? That's what I feel like you're balancing here. And it has to do, again, regarding a connection, a very important connection or a very important um, decision in your life. You are going to complete it. Uh, again, you may be... Um, have a lot to do with the Ten of Wands and work more towards that goal to find your independence, but you are so close to whatever it is here that you want to achieve. It's just you, you in, in this situation, you also should protect what is your right with the Five of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Just protect what you have worked for. Um, remember, it's a progress, um, Nine of Wands to Ten of Wands, from being resilient, standing your ground, and finally here, some of you may be needing even help from other people. Remember, with the Ten of Wands, don't take everything on yourself, on your shoulders here. I hope this resonates with you guys. Uh, in the extended, we will just look a little bit deeper for those that resonate with the reading. Thank you. Bye-bye.